Hey yo guys, welcome to episode 10 of Arc Genesis. Now, today, as you can see, we're in a completely different biome for where we normally live. Whether it's the ocean or the bog, we're somewhere new. And that's because, well, today, I want to tame a Magmasaur. I pinpointed the uh, location for the Magmasaur cave, which is right there. And I wanted to head in, but I headed in just to take a quick glimpse. I also want to look out for uh, good level X-Rexes. But I had uh, I went in for like a few seconds just to check it out, make sure it was all good. And I noticed there was a bit of a different glow, although it doesn't seem. Okay, can you move, please? What the? The invisible webs on these guys is getting kind of annoying. Okay, the glow seems to have disappeared, but there was a extra orange glow earlier. That. Uh, well, basically what it means is the volcano is about to erupt, meaning the entire place is about to explode and you're going to die instantly if you stay inside for too long. Which I... Uh, okay, gotta be careful, that's what. Holy smokes, how many are there? I mean, normally, this, this computer is really good and lag is not really a thing with this PC. But, like, I am lagging like crazy right now. Hold on, let me... I think it's stat FPS. 20 frames per second. I mean, that, that is not too bad in hindsight, but normally I'm getting like 40, 50. I don't know. Anyway. So, as you can see, all around here in the lava pit is tons upon tons of magmasaurs. I didn't know they spawned this much here. I thought they would, in single player, you know, normally things don't spawn as much. So I was not expecting to have like 50 billion here. Alright, well, I want to check out a few areas. I know this... Okay, there's two eggs there. Yep, two eggs, one nest. I definitely am not going to be able to kill them with the uh, Bloodstalker. But I might be able to kill them with my shotgun. Because my shotgun is pretty powerful. Also, this shotgun, if you notice, doesn't have the symbol on it. It's because I actually got it from one of the loot crates instead of one of the, uh, one of the missions. There we go. So, as you can see, my, oh! As you can see, my current FPS is like 30, like in between 30 and 35. That's what I'm used to. And I, I feel like I'm complaining right now because I'm sure plenty of people don't have that kind of equipment, but... At the same time, it is not what I'm used to, nor what I should be having down here. I don't know, maybe I'll... Maybe I'll, like, change some of the uh, settings or something. Alright, one magma sword down. I would enjoy killing all of them, just so that way I don't have to worry about them. I also want to learn how to do the AoE attack with these guys, because I know... Ah, oh boy, I can't hit him from there. I know how to do... Because I, as I've stated multiple times, I play on a server. And on the server, I got one of these, although I got also got him killed. But I got one of them. And I know how to use them for the most part. But I don't know how to do the whole, like, shoots out of every single hole in his body uh, attack thing. And I want to learn how to do that, because that thing would be really nice. Alright. We have three left. A uh, 20... Uh, 80, and a 150. Oh, if one of those eggs is a 150, I'm gonna, that's gonna be awesome. I'm not expecting to get amazing levels today. That's not what I'm going for. I just kind of want to go for a Magmasaur egg right now, because, yeah, I have yet to get one on this world, so any Magmasaur in general is just gonna be amazing. But if I can get a 150 of all things, that would be amazing. I would not complain with that. This thing has taken forever to kill. This was the 20, right? Yeah, man. How much health do these things have? Because I feel like they have quite a bit. I'm not sure if it would be more efficient to shoot it with shotgun shells from this far away. Or if it's better to shoot with long range. Um... Although it would be good to kill this 150. And I'm really hoping one of those eggs is a 150. 
because otherwise I'm wasting a perfectly good 150 here, and I won't be able to get an egg here. That was not the 150, that was the 80. Which one of you is the 150? Ah, you're the 150. 150 male, 20 female. Alright, well let's kill that female. It was, I think it was a female, right? That's the 150, right? Yep. So, that one is the one I'm trying to kill. And then... I don't know, depending... That magma sword doesn't really seem to be coming after me right now, so... What I think I might try and do here is be stupid and get up to OG Peter. By the way, the reason I'm not using my main Bloodstalker instead of using this guy is because my, blame, my main Bloodstalker was originally a 150, whereas OG Peter was a, uh, was he, a 85? Please. <gasps> yes! We got a max level! Yes! Okay, that is amazing. Alright. I say we take the 150, then the 80, and then head out as fast as possible. Three, two, one, go. Go. Get on OG Peter, and go. I know, if you get blasted with fire when you're on one of these guys, they, uh, their strings get destroyed. Oh boy, FPS is messing with me again. Anyway, their strings get destroyed. So you have to be very careful. I can't believe we got a 150! And this is my first ever run here. And I already have 150. If we can get... If we've got twins and one of them is a male and a female, that would be like the best thing in the world. I definitely want to check out their stats from the beginning. Because I do want to get imprints on them. So I definitely want to check out their stats from the beginning, just to, uh... In case I do get breeding ones, I can find out what the best things would be. Well, let's head back to the ocean. I'm near the east. Southeast, east works. Either way, 150 and an 80. Yeah, I mean, I might as well hatch both. Like, why not? But, oh my word, that's amazing. I am so happy with that. <laughs> oh my word, I, oh, I don't even know what to say right now. This is, this is amazing. Alright, uh, oh, okay. Well, I think we're good. Here we go. Yep, here we go. And we are here and come on. There we are. Alright, and then we head over yep, yeah, there it is. So I right, also from the last episode I did do some research and yes the name is Crush. I wanted to make sure so I didn't make a fool of myself, even though I technically would have already. But I wanted to make sure for a fact I would not make a fool of myself. Well, how long is it going to hatch if I don't put in the hatchery? Five minutes. Okay, that's not too bad. I am go going to go grab some honey for my beehive real quick. That's at the bog. And then I'm going to be back. And we're going to breed these. Also, I have loads of ambergris in here. And ambergris is what you use to, um, as their food source. So, that is amazing. That means I don't have to worry about going to the lunar biome. I think I got, like, 70. And if you're wondering how much, how I got that much, that's, uh, because I killed a, uh, Astrocetus, I think they're called. Anyway, I killed one of those things, and I got so much, uh, ambergris from it. Anyway. I'll be right back. I'm gonna grab some honey, get the things hatched up. Actually, no, I'm not gonna be stupid. I'm gonna pick up that egg first. Actually, no, no, let's just use the hatchery. Why not? I mean, it's here. Let's just activate that. Picks up the egg. Drop that egg. We'll pick up that egg, too. Although, I don't want to go before I see that egg picked up. Because I do not want that to disappear. Well, unintentionally disappear because I... Pff, a stupid gnat. There's a gnat in front of me. I... Get out of here. Are you gonna go in? Also, for some reason, that the pants on that uh, nanny are glitching like crazy. Don't know why, not a fan of it. Is the hatchery going to pick it up? Alright, well, I'll just wait around for when the hatchery finally picks it up, and I will... Yep, yeah, I'll go pick up some honey and all that, so yep, yeah, be right back. Alright, I have both eggs here ready to hatch. They're both at, like, very little <coughs> incubation. Here we go. There's the 80. I got triplets. 
Are you kidding me? What? What are the chances of getting triplets? I want to I can't remember what the chances are, but it's very, very low to get triplets. And the first ever magma sore egg I hatch is triplets. Wow. I'm getting so lucky. That, that kind of scares me because every time I get lucky, I get... Or something bad happens, which just messes me up like crazy. So, I'm slightly scared about that, but nevertheless, that's awesome. I'm so happy with that. Like, oh my word. <laughs> Today, so far, is just getting better and better. Alright, let's hatch this 150. Twins or triplets? Twins or triplets? Twins or triplets? Alright, it's a singular. And we got a female. Alright, screenshot that. Um, I'm not sure if those are good stats. Health does seem pretty decent. Damage kind of seems on the lower side. I know food is important for them. And stamina, eh, it's okay. Alright, nope. I want behavior. Disable wandering. And then... Can I... Get you to... Nope, wrong one. Uh, low. Okay. Let's get you to follow me over here. Alright, so before I activate the nanny, I kind of want to see what the imprint uh, thing is on them. Unless I have the whole imprinting and maturation thing all messed up. In which case, I can't check it out. But, uh... I kind of want to see what it is. Just because I didn't get to in the server, and I think it would be nice to be able to show that off. Alright, how long is it going to take? 15 minutes. Hopefully that won't mess- actually, you know what? I can still uh, get the- or I can still imprint on it either way, so I should be fine. <clears throat> also, I don't know if she can auto-transfer Ambergris into them. So, just in case, I'm going to transfer the Ambergris personally into each one and it, also if you might have noticed there they have a i think it's half weight reduction on ambergris which can become very very handy in uh well for like these situations especially for official because yeah official like has base stats for everything or base rates, not base stats, but base rates. So, yeah, okay. So, let's see, 150. I'm so happy with that. I'm not entirely sure what I want to call it. Also, I don't think you can get mutations. Yeah, no, you cannot get mutations from wilds. But I know you can breed magmasaurs. So, I want to see if I can find another 150 or, like, a really high level and try to get a male out of it. And then, yep, all the breeding or all the whatever. How, how far did it go? Okay, reaches everyone. Good, 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 good. Alright, well, I don't even, uh, yeah, I'm not sure what to uh, talk about right now. I mean, yeah, it, it looks amazing. Also, I think you can activate the auto smelt from, or the enable smelting from the, uh, when they're born. But it decreases food. And they already decrease on food, like, ridiculously fast. Now, the ambergris does fill food. 500 food, I think, per eat, or 500 or 1,000, something like that. Let's check real quick. Yeah, so there's about 500, it looks like. Uh, let's grab another ambergris out of here, just because I want to be safe. Now, yeah, so we got 12 minutes on those guys, 15 minutes on this girl. So we have one guy in total. Three females, two 80 females, one 80 male, and one 150. What? I cannot speak. One 150 male. I am so happy that I found a 150 egg off the uh, bat. That was so uncalled for, but definitely happy with it. Also, I don't think the saddle's over here. I think it's in the bog. Yeah, it's in the bog. But I have a Ascendant Magma Source saddle that's like 93 armor. Which, totally want to put this, or that, on this guy. Gal, sorry, it's a girl. But yeah, I... I think I'm going to come back once the, uh... Once I can imprint on it, just to show it off and everything. Uh, and then, I don't know, maybe I'll come back every single time, and then we'll check them out. So yeah, I will be right back. Alright, and we are having the... Nope, no, 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 disable smelting, I do not want that on you. Set you to the lowest follow distance. And then come on. Are you gonna walk? There we go. 
And now I just need to walk around. There we go. Okay, so not, not too um, strange of animation or anything. Basic animation. But I like it. It's nice. Also, is that stuff the blood? Because babies, because they're so low health, but they technically have that health. The uh, eight, or in my case, the 8,700 or almost 800. Uh, because they technically have that much, but the game only registers it as currently having 1,800. Or almost 1,900, whatever. Anyway, you get what I mean. I'm wondering if that's what the blood looks like. That's kind of interesting. And by kind of, I mean, that's actually really interesting. Uh, yeah. And it doesn't look like the guy these guys have it, which is even more strange. Interesting. And what's the melee stat on you guys? Because I've heard... Okay, no, no, no. I heard that the melee stat on, um... On lower levels is better than higher. Evidently, that is very much incorrect, seeing as the 150 is uh, much higher. Anyway, I will be back once we're going for another imprint, and yep. So, see you then. Alright, we have about 10 seconds left, but I just wanted to point out Did you, like, look at this uh, colors. Like, now that's daytime, like, look at this kind of color. It's light blue with black. I actually really like it. It's kind of strange but it's really nice in its own way and i like that hole like right there how you can kind of see the heat and it kind of looks like it's actual lava like inside the creature it's really nice i really like that look i don't know it's awesome <laughs> i love these guys they're the best anyway okay. wow you really like going on walks don't you all right well come on i also need to imprint on the other guys ah uh, uh, are you gonna imprint? There we go. Alright, what do you guys want? Uh, you wanna go on a walk? Let's turn you to the lowest setting. You want to be hand fed ambergris. Can do that. Uh, let's put that in you. Okay. And then, what do you want? Uh, another ambergris. There we go. Yep, imprints at 43%, and they're about 27% matured, so... Alright, not too bad. Not too bad all around. And... Come on, are you gonna... Are you gonna imprint? Da -da -da -ba 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 -ba. There we go. Okay. Well, I'll hop back in once next imprint comes in, or maybe I'll just hop in once it's done, because I feel like if I hop in every single imprint, it's gonna get a bit repetitive. So, yeah, I, I think I might just hop back once they're uh, fully imprinted and matured and everything. Alright, we're finally on the last steps of all the Magmasaurs. All the Magmasaurs, except the 150, has officially been uh, matured. And we're pointing oh, up, there we go. And any second now. Drum roll, yes! Yes! Let's go, okay. So, as I said, I have an Ascendant Saddle. I thought it was 93 armor, it's actually 95. But still, not too much of a difference. I also have another one, which I guess I can pop one of the, uh, them later. Oh, yes. Oh, this is amazing. Alright, I want to go... Okay, guys, can you let me out, please? 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 Thank you? Maybe? Um, I, I, um, <laughs> I think I have too many magma swords here. Uh, let's pick up all the 80s. I don't think I need all the 80s out right now. Honestly, I don't know if I need any of the 80s out in general. I think they're going to be more for decoration over actually, like, being useful. I think the 150s are going to be my main. Uh, the 150 is going to be my main. Now, if the 150 dies, then I'm going to be falling back on the uh, 80s. But uh, we're I'm going to be hoping that the uh, 150 ain't dying. Because the, the chances of finding a 150 is not very high. So, I prefer not to have to go out and find another one, personally. Alright, uh, let's pop that ack. That ack? That's, that's proper English. Alright, and then I want to take you. I want to say to the volcano, because, I mean, that's where he's from. Might as well take him there. Or she. I keep calling it a him. It's not a him, it's a her. Uh, do I have my ghillie stunt? I do still have my ghillie. Okay, let's put all that on. 
Uh, I also want to see if the volcano is going to erupt sometime soon. Because that would be something I want to see. I don't think I've yet to see the volcano properly erupt on this uh, or map. It's an island. It's not an island. This map. So, I want to see if I can find the uh, volcano erupting. I doubt it, but that'd be cool. Also, I think... Yeah, if I remember correctly, you can swim in lava with these magma sores. Which means I basically have free roam in anywhere around the uh, magma. Or magma volcano. So that's great. That's going to be amazing. I think... Okay, so a few things, if I remember correctly. I think I can... Okay, hopefully that's not too dark for you guys. If it is, I'm sorry. I can't tell. Yeah, so they do collect stone and metal. There are carnivores. So they will collect meat and everything. Uh, also, I believe... You can... I have to get it. I won't use it right now. Actually, you know what? Here's to... Because why not? Uh, can I access you, please? Thank you. Well, Just because why not? I want to see it. Uh, let's buy... Let's buy about 20. 20 should be fine. Pop those in. And the reason I want to do this is... I don't know. Hey, let's just use it on this Kentro. So I can see the searing spit. It's charging up. It's now fully charged. And if I fire about there... Look at that. Oh boy, that's awesome! How much... Okay. About 10k health, straight off the bat. Not too bad, actually. Uh, let's put that to 300. And I get about 1,000 per level. That is not too bad all around. That is not too bad. Alright, well, I'm definitely gonna have to go around leveling. But... This is... Oh, man, I love these. This thing is awesome. Ooh, I also want to tame one of those sometime. I think I already tamed the Arctic version of them, which is technically it's not X Inky, but it looks pretty cool and it looks like it looks like it should be one. It just isn't technically. But I do want to tame the uh, X and Kylosaurus, which is the lava-looking one, because I think that would look awesome and be awesome. Now, if you don't know, X creatures do get uh, damage buff, or not damage buff, a uh, damage reduction buff in the wild. But as soon as you tame them, the damage reduction is taken off. Which is a bit annoying, but it is what it is. Have to live with it. I think those are some aloes up there. Yes, they are. Well, definitely want to be careful. And also want a fireball. Because I'm Batman. I don't know. I watch too much, uh, uh, Hishi. And if you don't watch Hishi, I totally recommend it. It's, like, the best YouTube channel for, like, I don't know. It, it's amazing. I love the channel. And... How, what level are you, by the way? I just thought I'd check. Find out it's gonna be a 150. That would be my luck. And... There we go. Okay. Not a 150. That's fine. I'm completely fine with that. I think 20k health should be enough for now. Uh, eh, weight's a uh, decent. Uh, I want to drop all stone because that is not something I need. And drop most of the raw meat because again, that's also something I don't really need too much of. Oh, he's a wood collector too. That is good. Oh, there's a bass. Oh, I forgot. So much information I want to talk about. So, uh, I don't remember how long ago it was, but I know. That they actually updated the game so you can actually tame basilisks with the magma sword eggs. So you can actually tame. What is wrong with his body? That does not look right in any sense. Anyway, you can actually tame. Yeah, can you please hit with your. Thank you. You can actually tame the basilisks on this map using the uh, magma sword eggs. So. Depend if you find a good level and you really want it, you can tame it. It's just not exactly cheap, because Magmasaur eggs aren't exactly going to come easy, unless you have two Magmasaurs, which you want to breed. Honestly, I could actually just get two of my Magmasaurs and just breed them up, like the, one of the, uh, or two of the 80s, just for fertilized eggs, so I can tame a Basilisk, because I believe in my, uh, in my chest or one of my drops back home i do have 
A basilisk saddle? Basilisk. I cannot say that. Basilisk. Yeah, so as you can see, I can now walk around in lava because he uh, is immune to, uh, to lava because, I mean, he's literally made of the stuff. It makes sense that he's immune to it. What is that? That is a dead T-Rex. That is kind of terrifying in all honesty. Kind of terrifying. Alright, let's drop all this. I kind of want to try one of the magma, or not magma, sorry, missions, but the uh, volcano missions. Just because, why not? I mean, we're here. I have a magma sword. I want to use them. Uh, if we were to do one, though, I probably would want to uh, get the health higher first. Actually, I should have got ambergris first. Because you can feed ambergris. Kind of like the wyvern milk. I think wyvern milk still works for grown wyverns. I'm not sure. Anyway, you can give nameless venom to rock drakes to give them higher or more health. Uh, if, like, they're close to death. And same for Ambergris for the, uh, Magmasaurs. If you feed it to them, you can increase their health. So. Oh, man. So, okay, one last thing before I head back in, because I want to see if there's any more Magmasaur eggs. You see those red gems down there? Those red gems aren't actually, like, the red gems from Aberration. They are actually element shards. So you can actually farm element shards in this one, or in this map, which is amazing. I love that feature. Problem is, that's not a huge help to me right now because I don't have the replicator. And I was thinking, potentially, of spawning in the bosses from like the island and like, you know, yeah, those like the Broodmother, the uh, Megapithecus, the dragon, all those guys. Spawning them in and getting the, uh, what is it, the, the tech grams. Because, yeah, currently I can't, unless I want to do the final boss, which, first of all, nowhere near doing anytime soon. Second of all, I don't really want to do that yet. Oh, Magma Sword. Or not Magma Sword. Uh, Rock Golem. Rock Golem. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Move. 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 Ah! <laughs> okay. Oh, I think we're good. All right. Hmm. I feel like going down there would not be the smartest idea. I don't know about, <laughs> like, yeah. I'm losing my voice here. <clears throat> ah, there we go. Yeah, I feel like going down there would not be the smartest idea in the world. I feel like I would have about a 99.9999999. You get the point. Percent chance of death. So. I don't think I'm gonna go down there. I think I might want to pump damage a bit. Searing spit cannot charge an in inclement weather or while in water. That makes sense. It's lava breath. Makes sense. Now I'm gonna turn the gamma up to like gamma three, so it'll just be slightly brighter. Not by a lot, but it will be slightly brighter. And again, if you guys have not been able to see this entire time, I'm completely sorry. I keep forgetting to check it. Like, yeah, I don't know. Basically, I'm being stupid. Alright, there's another egg down there. Let's check the levels of the magma source before I actually check out the egg. Alright, we got a 135. That's a pretty good level. 55, eh. 20. Uh, 150! Yes! Okay, so there's another chance for a 150 down there. Do I want to risk it? That is the question. Uh, let's drop all this. Because I do not need all that. I might... <sighs> See, there's more eggs over there as well, though. I don't know. What levels we got? I uh, can't see the levels over there too far away. Oh, there's 25 at the least. Uh, 150. Okay. Oh, man, I don't know. I mean, okay, so this is a singular spot. I feel like I might just go with this. So let's just send a searing spit down. Set him on fire. I think I just straight up missed with everything there. Kind of stinks, but whatever. Alright, jump off right before I hit the lava. Alright. What, what do you mean, can I? I'm literally in lava. How can I not charge? Are you kidding me? <laughs> That makes absolutely no sense at all. 
All right. Ah! Eye on the hole! There's been a hit. Ah, there's another one! Oh! Okay. I do get affected by fire. That is good to know. Oh, boy. This might not end well. I might not have wanted to do this. Okay, it's one down. And they drop prime. No raw meat. No normal raw meat, so... That's good to know. Okay, there is the 20 down. Also, quickly, what level is that? 25, okay. Yeah, not worth. Totally not worth. I feel like I need to stop recording for so long, because I'm pretty sure I've been recording for too long again. And I, I just don't think about it, but yeah. It's just, yeah, it, it's just not something I really think about off the bat. It's, uh... And I, I kind of want to get, like, a second monitor or something, just so I can see. I'm going to drop all the prime stuff. I do not need it. I also want to pump all these levels in damage. Okay, I want to kill these guys. There's one underground. Interesting. I'm very sorry. Oh, lag. Oh. I'm breaking rocks. I'm lagging like crazy. Uh, should be all the rocks around here. Should be fine. Ah, uh, boy. Well, that egg does not seem to be very, very good at all. But I'll, I'll take it. I mean, I can use. As I said, I can use it to uh, tame the. Uh, what are they called? Basilisks. I can use it to tame the basilisk, so I might as well take it. You know. It's like, yeah. You know, it's it's there. Might as well use it, right? All right. Uh, what level are you? 135. All right, this does take a bit, but oh boy, no lag. Uh, okay. Uh, what can I drop all the stone? I do not need all. And there we go. 135 down. Uh, obsidian. Don't need that. Uh, prime meat. Do not need that. How much prime meat do I have? 147. That would probably be what's weighing me down so much. Actually, honestly, I think I might want to wait for that 25. Because if I take it right now, I'm going to make everything in the area mad. Whereas if I wait and grab an egg, like on the other side, that potentially might be a high level. I would be able to potentially get out with a good level creature. I don't know. Uh, let's see. I only have 8,000 health. Do I really want to risk this? Not sure if I do. There's a lot of magma swords around. There's a nest right there. Okay. Let's just try and see what it is real quick. Uh, 20. Okay. That one is most definitely not worth it. I think that guy's seen me. Okay. I feel like I'm. I wonder if you go fully submerged in lava if you'll start dying. I prefer not to test. I'm not even sure if I can, in all honesty, but I prefer not to test. Oh, that's a lot of magma swords that I do not want to have to deal with. Okay, how do I want to go about this? What do you mean, cannot char- I'm in lava! How can I not charge in lava? Holy smokes, that's a lot of damage. Oh! I saw that shot. Oh! That was a full-on hit. I think I might want to bail. Potentially think about healing up my Magmasaur. Before going in for any eggs. Yeah, yep, 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 definitely want to heal first. I <laughs> definitely want to heal first. No, actually, no. Not healing. I'm getting out of here. I think we've done good. What? Why would you do that? You just made everything in the area mad. Yes. Oh, my word. I swear, you don't think before you do. Alright, well. Blast you right there. Don't do it. No, 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 no. Passive. What? Ugh. Okay. 
Whatever, I'm gonna get out while I can. Uh, HLNA, thank you. Ocean, East. Uh, let's get you another level of the damage. Get that to 450 and then pump health again. And before we leave, I wanna grab this egg. Even though it's a bad level, might as well take it. As I said, Basilisk taming could happen. Alright. And... Now. Alright, here we go. We're heading back. And... We're here. Okay. Nice. Magmazor prevent freezing. Oh, cool. Also, I think if you use the, um, searing spit, they actually, like, makes it so you don't take, or you don't freeze. That's actually kind of cool, and that'd be really helpful in the, uh, lunar biome. Really, really helpful. Alright, uh, let's smelt. Might as well turn on smelting. Now, if I remember correctly, they smelt slower than a normal forge, so... Yeah, it's it's not the best. It definitely could be a lot better, but I guess it's better than nothing. I guess that's kind of I don't know. Hind or look on it, I'll try to keep is that it's better than nothing. It's not exactly great, but it's better than nothing. All right. Oh man, this I'm very happy with this. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and yeah, I will see you guys next time. Mm. Goodbye.